<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another amazing Shifter Run episode. And this one, we're going to be showing you how to catch that little guy there, put him in a pen, and make lots of little piggies so we can go to the market. All right. Let's go and get him, Zeg. Rawr. Rawr. First things first, Zeg, we are going to need a little or a big plot of land to put our little piggies in with a fence around. So that's right. That is right. <laughs> so we decided we're going to flatten further the back of our base behind the farm and build a little fenced off area to put our pigs in. Yeah. So fast forward. <laughs> so now we have our little pen done, as you can see. This is where we're going to keep our Mr. Boars, Mr. and Mrs. Boars. So we're going to go and find some and try and get them to chase us and then shut the door behind us when we get in, keep them trapped. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Mr. Wolf. Sounds good to me. And then we will explain how to actually tame them. Let's go. So here is a little ball. So if we can get him to see us, he will get frightened and actually chase us and try and kill us. There we go. Chase me, chase me. Yeah, they always have an attack where they charge at you and then they will retreat and then they will charge at you again. So you can use that to your advantage to train them into the pen. Come back, little pig. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Trapped. Great job. So if we move away, lose his aggro and he lose his big red explanation mark off his name and he will be chilled. There we go. I think he's, I think he's cool. But he will stand in there and wreck the fence here. Yeah, he's attacking the workbench. Next bit is at getting these little guys tamed. And for that, you're going to need food. And they love eating carrots, mushrooms, turnips and berries. And if you've been watching our previous episodes, you should hopefully by this point have a lot and lots of carrots. Yeah, lots of carrots. Which is exactly why we got you to make carrots first. Yeah. Got some carrots right here. So what we're going to do is go up to the, uh, this dolphin feeding platform, chuck some carrots in for him. He's upset. So what I like to do, I like to hold shift down on a stack of carrots and split them into ones. And then simply drag it and shuck it off the top like that. We'll, we'll give him another one. When he's got hungry above his head, as long as he's not trying to attack you at that point, you can throw a carrot on the floor, he'll try to eat it, and then he will get acclimatizing, I think it says above his head. There'll be like a, a percentage at the end of the acclimatizing. And once he gets to 100%, he should have some love hearts pop up above his head, and then he's tamed. If you creep as well, if you crouch, there's less chance of seeing you. So you're not aggroing when you're up on this platform. One major point is fire. They really hate fire when they're wild. So keep fire away from him. Don't use fire. Fire equals bad. Fire bad. I suggest while he's being angry and wrecking the fence and that, we sneak off and go and look for some more and try and coerce them back into the pen. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I've done biology at school, you need two to tango. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Let's go. Not wrong. Let's go. Well, Wolf, we've got one over here. And unfortunately, it is a level zero. So you can get these with stars next to the name. If you get one with two stars, they're the best ones you can get. If you get two, two of the same star rating bars, they will always have us that same star rating, like say two stars. When they, when they breed, the piglets will be two stars too. More stars, the better. Yeah, and if you've got one that's, say, one star and one that's no star, there's a 50% chance it'll spawn with one star or no star. If you can get two star bars, they are much better. They provide, they always give meat and they also give more leather. Bye, Wolf. See you later. Enjoy. Enjoy, pigs. Not even scared. <laughs> so we are gonna... Go away from these, let a bit of time pass, and hopefully they'll calm the hell down. Just calm down. See you in a minute. Right, Wolf. Right. I'm going to run over there and have a look at these bars and see how tame they are. Come on, then. I'll come with you. I'll protect you. Yeah, you protect me. I'm just going to jump over the wall. Save me opening that rubbish. Right. Ha! He's still wild over there, and he's... He's, he's still angry, isn't he? 18%, man. This one's still frightened. 18% tameness. So that's that thing that we were talking about. Tameness, 18%. There we go. 
So these guys are tamed. When you're taming them, uh, if you're in the vicinity, you will hear... Uh, oh, let me do an impression of this sound for you, as I know you will love it. It sort of goes... Fring! Good that. Good that. And then there's a big cloud of pink hearts that come up above their heads. Um, and that's when you know they're uh, tamed. Nice. Miss Piggy and Kermit over here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's what we're calling our pigs. Wait, I was going to put Kermit the frog, but he's not really a frog, is he? So if we leave these two little lovebirds and come back again later, we might have a little baby piggy piglet. An important point at this at this stage is they will only breed when they're close to each other. I think it's within like 10 meters or so. So try and, if you're going to throw your carrots down like we were doing, try and throw them down in a relatively local area, uh, quite close together. And that should cause them both when they're hungry to come to roughly the same locale. And uh, yeah, then they will hopefully feel a bit amorous. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> get some Barry White music on. <laughs> I'll chuck some more carrots down here. These carrots are for eating, guys, not for anything else. It does help if you've got a microphone. Do play Barry White down your microphone in the game, and it, it genuinely helps yeah. to make them read. It doesn't help make them read. I'm just joking. No, not Barry White. It's uh, Michael Bublé. <laughs> It'll make you feel like, you know, everyone's in the mood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barry White. Do, 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 dum. Dum, 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 do, dum. Right, let's leave these two uh, lovebirds, love pigs. <laughs> love pigs. <laughs> when your boars are tamed, they will always try and get out of the pen if they can. So always make sure you close your doors. It may even be worth making an airlock type system where you've got two sets of doors. Uh, so you go through one, close them behind you, and then go through the next set of doors and close them behind you. Thus, if they do get through the first set of doors, they should still be trapped behind the second. Yeah. Yeah. And that's about it, isn't it, for Bars Wolf? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's a piggy! It's a piggy! So uh, we made a temporary fence just to try and keep our bars together while they decided to breed. Try right, to keep them stuck together. Me and Wolf here, <laughs> doing an outro. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, folks. We've been stood around here waiting for our boars to breed. We've built a little pig pen and a feeding trough. We've got lots of breeding going on. As I will spin around and show you. Lots of little piggies. Lots of little piggies. And we also, over here, built the airlock type system that we are talking about. If you want an idea of how you work it, that's how you work it. That's how you put it down, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> What you're doing there. <laughs> so hopefully after this tutorial you'll have a good idea of how to breed some bars and have another infinite supply of food and leather you won't have to chase them around anymore i'll point out the obvious here though don't kill them all don't always leave two left yeah <laughs> minimum leave two alive yeah and as we're seeing earlier, if you can get some with two stars or one star, you're going to get more meat and leather from them. Absolutely. Jobs are good. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Love you. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.